Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. If you're a Fire Stick owner, then you're probably already aware of the space limitations. Maybe you're getting buffering, lag or a constant message appearing on screen that you're critically low on storage. If you are experiencing any of these issues, then let's go and take a look at some hints and tips to resolve them. You can use the clickable sections below to skip ahead to any specific part in this video. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. I know how frustrating it can be when your Fire TV device isn't performing to the best of its ability. I use my Fire Stick a lot, and sometimes even when I only have three or four apps installed, I still get warnings that I'm low on storage space. Let's take a look at what steps we can take to get our Fire Stick running like it should. These steps aren't just for Fire Sticks, they're universal for all Fire TV devices, but in this video I'm using my 4K Fire Stick. The first thing we can take a look at is uninstalling apps that you no longer need or use. Now I know that this one seems obvious, but you may have apps you've installed and forgotten about, and it's super easy to check and uninstall them. When you go into your apps screen, you would expect that all applications you installed are shown here, but this is not always the case, especially if you have sideloaded apps. Plus, you might have apps with a greyed out icon and you can't remember what they are or if you still need them. The best way to take a look at all of your installed apps is to go into the settings and go to applications, then manage installed applications. From here, you can carefully review each installed app and decide if you want to keep it or not. You may be surprised at what apps you had installed that you forgot about and forgot to uninstall. Click on any app to select it and then tap down and select uninstall to remove it. Repeat this for all apps that you no longer need or use. Just be aware that not all apps can be removed. You're not going to be able to remove any apps that come pre-installed by Amazon, such as Prime Video. The second thing to try is to use a multi-utility tool to have a good cleanup of your Fire Stick, such as DevSquid. You can get DevSquid from the Amazon App Store or from the download page on my website. DevSquid features a cleaner that will scan your Fire Stick for junk files and remove them and boost your device by analysing and improving system resources. You can also use DevSquid to force stop apps that are open and running in the background. And you can run a deep scan and virus check of your Fire Stick to check for any malicious or suspicious apps that may be using system resources and causing it to run slow. If you want to go into the DevSquid app in more detail, check out my step-by-step -step DevSquid tutorial showing in the link above me or in the description down below. One thing that DevSquid does not do is clear cache, as permissions to do this on Fire Sticks cannot be accessed by other apps. Cache can only be cleared on Fire Sticks manually. Cache always gets created when you use apps or browsers to temporarily save data and is essentially just junk that is taking up space on your Fire Stick. However, some cache is good cache as it actually helps to make your Fire Stick run faster and open apps quicker. But in instances where the cache has built to a large amount, you may want to clear it as it can affect your device performance if it starts to run low on storage. To view cache and clear it, go back into the settings, applications and manage installed applications. Select an app, then choose clear cache. 
as storage is quite limited on the Fire Stick, I would recommend clearing any cache that is larger than 100 megabytes if you're really running low on space. The third thing to try is to use a File Explorer app to check folders on your Fire Stick. You may have used some apps to download something, record a show, or you may have transferred photos or video files to your Fire Stick. And sometimes when uninstalling an app, some files and folders can remain, hiding and taking up valuable storage space. I like to use an app called Explore, and you can get it from the Amazon App Store or from the download page on my website. With Explore open, you can take a look through your Fire Stick internal shared storage. Here you can delete anything that should no longer be there and take a look inside of folders to find any hidden or forgotten about files. If you have a download or a downloader folder, take a look inside of these to check if there's anything in those folders that can be removed. Press and hold the center button when highlighted over any folder or file that you want to remove and from the menu choose delete. If you want to go into the Explore app in more detail, check out my step-by-step -step tutorial showing in the link above me or in the description down below. Hopefully the tips in this video have helped to resolve any issues with low Fire Stick storage. If you're interested in expanding your Fire Stick storage, you can add a USB port to your Fire Stick. You can then attach a storage drive to share and access video files or save downloaded files so you don't take up space on your Fire Stick. If this is something you are interested in doing, check out my separate tutorial that's showing in the link above me or in the description down below that takes you through step by step adding a storage device up to 2 terabytes. If all else fails and you're still suffering with storage and slow performance issues with your Fire Stick, then your only solution may be to perform a factory reset. This will completely wipe everything on your Fire Stick and restore it back to factory defaults, so it will revert it to exactly how it was when you first took it out of the box. To perform a factory reset, go into your Fire Stick settings, My Fire TV, and choose Reset to Factory Defaults. These hints and tips should have helped to put a stop to any low storage, slow performance or buffering issues with your Fire Stick. I hope that you have found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.